Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching my videos. This is Seth from How I Think, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make how to move a mailbox from one database to another on Exchange 2010. Now, this is going to be a live uh, mailbox move or migration. Uh, in a sense that the user can be logged in um, and all they'll get is a message on their screen stating that uh, a change was made by the administrator and please exit out of Outlook and log and then restart Outlook so they'll log out log back in and everything will be fine they won't see a difference whatsoever uh, but in the background their database has been their mailbox has been moved from one database to another so let's go get let's go ahead and get started as you can see, um, we're in the uh, mailbox section. We have quite a few mailboxes, and this last user is on the uh, on a different mailbox than the other one. I want to go ahead and add this mailbox or move this mailbox to uh, the mailbox that's that's labeled here, one zero seven eight eight, and so on and so forth, because this is part of a DAG. And so if if this mailbox of uh, this database crashes and this mailbox is gone if we move it over to the to a DAG then at least uh, you know the user is still good to go because the DAG will take over and so um, so let's get go ahead let's get started I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this mailbox I'm gonna click and I'm gonna cl uh, click on new local move request And this is going to go ahead and bring up a a wizard for us. All right, we're going to click on browse, and we're going to choose the database that's part of the DAG, which is uh, protected, and uh, and we're going to be moving it to this location. So we'll go ahead, double click it, and. It shows up down here. It says target mailbox database. And we'll hit next. You can go ahead and hit next. Um, basically if it if corrupt messages are found, it's gonna skip the mailbox, meaning um, the migration is gonna end. So if the database is large if the mailbox is large, for example, you know, a couple of hundred megs to a couple of gigs. Uh, probably a gig or a two gig then what you want to do is you want to click on skip mailbox and let's put it put in a number I usually put in 10 which is usually suffices enough uh, and then it'll skip those messages but the mailbox move will still be successful so we're gonna go ahead and click on um, next and we're gonna click on new and this is gonna go ahead and preposition everything before I hit finish, I just wanted to click, quickly show you all the commands that we have run so far. Um, you can actually do this right through the uh, the EMS, which is the Exchange Management Shell, and it will give you the command right here, as you can see. So that's pretty cool in Exchange 2010, I think in 2007 also. So it gives you all the commands, no matter what you do within Exchange, uh, it shows you the, um, the PowerShell commands for it. So we're going to go ahead and hit finish and it's going to start the actual migration process uh, because this is a small mailbox that nothing in there is probably already done but as you can see the uh, there's a little arrow green arrow that comes next to the icon which tells us that the uh, mailbox is in the move if you click on type move request you'll see it listed here um, and it's probably at 95%, okay? And it's completing right now. This window doesn't automatically refresh, so you have to right click and refresh it every few seconds or so just to make sure that it's completed. Okay, so the move completed. As you can see, it says completed and 100%. So now that it's done, you're gonna go ahead and highlight it, right click it, and say clear move request. All right, we're going to 
gonna go ahead and click that and that's gonna clear this queue hit yes alright we'll go back to mailbox and we'll just go ahead and do a refresh here And there you go. It's been moved over to from one database to another. So this, in essence, is how you do a mailbox move on Exchange 2010. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. You can do this live. Thank you for watching.